Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is about mass percent, the second part. So before I show you some question, uh, let's do a little bit of review. In general, concentration of solution equals amount of solute divided by amount of solution and multiply by 100%. And mass percent is mass of solute divided mass of solute plus mass of solution. On the bottom part is the total mass is mass of solution. Solution is made up mass of solute and plus mass of solvent. And then divided by solute. So multiply 100%. And also need to be careful, we need to apply the same unit for both solute and the solvent. Same unit so that we can add again. Otherwise, different unit, we need to change to same unit. And the top unit and the bottom unit can be, you, you can have gram on the top, gram on the bottom or microgram on the top, microgram on the bottom, or milligram on the top, milligram on the bottom, because these two unit, same unit, so that you can cancel out, you got the ratio, and multiply 100%. The other thing is solvent, is the substance doing the dissolving, and in any mixture, is the larger portion. So that will let you know when you identify if it is solute or solvent or solution. This is a, a good strategy, strategy to identify because actually the mass percent, any concentration always less than 100%. That's why the top number are always smaller than the bottom number, right? So let's continue to look at the question. Continue with uh, Mass percent part one, this is question three. A solution is 16% mass to mass sodium hydroxide. How many grams of sodium hydroxide are in 200 grams of the solution? So we follow the formula. So we first start writing 16%. We write 16% equals mass mass percent the top is mass of solute and this is how many grams of sodium hydroxide we're looking for so this is the x and the bottom is mass of solution and the r in 200 grams of the solution so obviously 200 gram is the solution then multiply 100%. You just identify each number, then plug into formula. And then we can look at, in this situation, we're looking for x, because this is a percent, no units. And this is a gram. That's why this is a gram, will be gram. And this situation, we already have percent. So this 100% is equal to 1, right? So when you do calculation, we don't need to carry this in because this is the one. So then we cross multiplication. So we have x equals 200 grams multiply 16%. And we got 200 grams multiply 0.16. We got two zero, move two decimal, and we got 32 grams. So there are 32 grams of sodium hydroxide in 200 grams of solution. So next question, question four, calculate the mass of solvent in grams in a solution containing 3.0 milligrams of a drug if the mass percent is 3.5%. So 
So we given the mass percent is 3.5 percent. So we start 3.5 percent equals top is mass of solute because they say in a solution containing 3.0 milligrams of drug. Obviously, this is 3.0 milligram is the mass of solute. And the bottom is mass of solution. And mass of solution equals mass of solute plus mass of solvent. And we're looking for solvent. So for easy calculation, we just put x on the bottom. This represents the total solution. After we find the total solution, and then we find solvent. This is easy. So multiply by 100%. This is exactly plug number into formula. And also, we already have 3.5%. So this is equal to 1, right? Now we will we work with this expression, so then we can say x multiply 3.5 percent. You can write x multiply 3.5 percent equals 3.0 milligram. Then 3.5 we can convert the decimal is 0.03. 5x equal 3.0 milligrams. So that's why x equal 3.0 milligrams on the top and 0 0.035 on the bottom. <coughs> so we can use calculate to find the answer. 3.0 divided 0 0.035 equals 85.7. We got 85.7 milligrams. So this one is the mass of solu solution, mass of solution, right? And we're looking for mass of solvent because mass of solution equals mass of solvent Mass of so solution equals because 55.7 milligrams is solution equals, and we can say this is x1, we put x2 represent mass of solvent plus mass of solute, which is 3. So then we can solve x2, which is mass of solvent, so x2 equals 85.7 milligram subtract 3.0 milligrams. So we got 82.7 milligrams. So 82.7 milligrams is the mass of solvent. So this question, just to be careful, uh, with the total mass of solution, you call it mass of solute plus mass of solvent. To looking for solvent, we need to first find solution, then subtract mass of solute. Then we get the answer. This is represented by wise guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.